Hello everyone, Jopke here. Uh, the new mission inspiration for February 2017 is already up and I can't wait to uh, play along. But uh, first I want to do the last oldie I have left to do and that is the one for 23rd of December 2015. Uh, these, uh, this one is not on the Facebook group, I'm thinking, uh, but you can find this um, mission at Mike Deacon's channel because he made a video of this. So these 10 steps are set by Shannon Green. So I am working on a piece of uh, book text paper again for my mission inspiration. And the first step is adhere shredded secret documents. And this is an old bank note, uh, not from me. Uh, I don't know where it came from. And I torn that in pieces to glue down on my piece of book text paper, which is gessoed, by the way, on both sides for uh, preventing it to buckle up all that much. And uh, step two is apply a thin coat of toxic gesso. Uh, don't know if this gesso is toxic, but it is the only one I have, so I am applying that with a brush as well as a spatula to give it some extra texture as well. Then step three is add paint for no reason at all. I like that prompt but of course I have thought about this page on forehand so my paint goes on uh, with a reason and that is because it is a color that comes back in my focal image which you will see later on and also this yellow ochre is um, a, a well thought choice because uh, these are colors that will come back later and that were acrylic paints, by the way. And then step four is add spray inks of your choice. And this was a homemade spray of an acrylic paint I made myself, but the bottle didn't uh, work all that well. So I changed to a spray by Heidi Swap, uh, the mustard, I believe it is and that uh, I am watering down to make it run on the page. And this one is also a homemade, a very light purple color that didn't work all that well. And uh, luckily it didn't do uh, too much damage. So I left it there. And these are my um, collage elements, which is step five, hide the evidence with collage elements and uh, these came out a magazine and I'm gluing that down with a Mod Podge. I like the the yellow background with the black, uh, the big black letters also had a bright pink one with white and black letters. So I thought that would look nice on my page. So I'm gluing a, pe a few pieces down of those um, magazine pages and I'm doing that with a Mod Podge. Then we move to step six, use stamps or stencils to cover your trail. And I do both. I uh, use this script stamp uh, with a Stazon ink pad and I also use a stencil which you will see in a minute. Uh, two stencils in fact. This is one by Panduro which has those ink spots uh, on it. I thought that would 
go nice with my focal image. And this is an acrylic paint of Artiste. Making a few more blobs and spots. And this is a stencil by the Crafters Workshop and uh, a homemade uh, modeling paste. Well, kind of. It was a modeling paste I bought once at the action, but it was very, very thin. And someone gave me the tip uh, I could make it thicker with baby powder. So I did, and it works, and it smells good as well. And this is my focal image, which I got from a magazine. And I, I not, I'm not so into the collage thing. I'm learning. Uh, I uh, have watched a lot of videos by Violet Socks, which uh, I love. I love her work, but um, I never use models or anything uh, not often really in my collage pages but this time i thought to give it a try and i must say i like the picture and uh, the end result i quite liked so gluing down that focal image with a glue stick and then using some faber castell artist pit pens to um, outline the image And then, um, well, I forgot to say that was step seven, really, at Disembodied Heads from your collection. And that was the magazine uh, photo model I glued down. Uh, well, not quite disembodied, maybe, but um, uh, it was pretty much only her head with the shoulders, so I thought that would be okay. And step eight says, disguise the head with pens or markers. Uh, but I first um, glue down uh, some sunglasses to put over her eyes. And then I'm using the markers, the Faber-Castell pit pens again, to um, add some detail to the sunglasses. Also using... Um, the white Posca marker to add some dots around the glasses. And then something probably went wrong because I lost a bit of footage, uh, but the only thing I did here was glue down uh, step nine, add a secret password or phrase, and I took this uh, word uh, from a magazine as well, uh, which says mooi, and that is Dutch for pretty or beautiful. And step 10, add a single stolen jewel, and I did that on her hand to make it look like a ring. It was a sticker uh, gem that I, in a, in a flower shape, then I'm adding the date with the Stazon Yet Black ink pad and um, using some ink pads to make a border as well to finish it all off. Uh, that is a, an archival ink. Uh, I believe this is the plum and also I use the magenta to make a border and I'm going in with the black Stazon as well uh, in the same way. Make sure to check out the description box because I will leave you some links in there to the Facebook group of the missions and also to, to Mike Deacon's channel. Um, this is it. Now all my missions are completed for 2015 and 2016. The new one for February is already up. I can't wait to get started on that. So hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.